All right, lads, welcome back to another video. And today we are continuing on from rebranding the LA Giltinis. Recently, I recreated the logo, which you can see here. And you can click on the video on the information card if you missed the first episode of this. But today we're gonna to move on to the next part of rebranding, which is gonna be their jersey. As far as I know, the jersey has not been released yet. So hopefully this is something similar to what they're gonna look like. And you'll realize through this video some of the frustrations I have doing design. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna put on the screen uh, basically a speed edit of me doing the jersey. Uh, I kind of jumped ahead at one point because I forgot to press screen record. But basically I turned jersey into a basic black base because I started with the away kit. I already warped the logo onto the jersey at this point so I'm I'll show you the basics on how to do that. Okay, you can see me here messing around with the logo. And start, and I'm gonna show you what I did. I went down and pressed the warp tool. Same on Infinity, same on anything else. And it's just to make the logo look realistic on the chest. You can see me stretching it out, it kind of liquefies it, but you can have the strength of using some handles that you can see here on the screen. Now, there's one that I prepared earlier, like a cooking show. Basically, what I used to create this jersey design, to make it pretty simple, it's a template that I actually got from the internet because it came with preloaded textures, but everything else underneath that I've done and then I create my own color layers and then logo layers and all that stuff kind of, but the basic Puma template I think it is, is from online. You can just search up Jersey Photoshop template, you'll find one on there. They're very difficult to make and there's some brilliant free versions out there. An important part of jersey design is obviously going to be the colors you're creating. So the LA Giltinis, they're actually, you have your white, your blue and your pink candy floss sort of style. And then the opposite, I just go the complete opposite of that for a black style. And in my black style, I went for a classier, the using classier pinstripe style, going with the green and blue. And then I did a pink over color overlay along the trim of the collar and the sleeve, which incorporates every color in the logo and the colors of the club so it's pretty handy to have that in your jersey i think the end product came out really well my frustration with jersey design is that something so simple can actually end up being so difficult to try do and come up with in your head where all i wanted to do was edit this template as this simple pinstripe design with a couple of color overlays it actually turns it a bit more complex as i'll show you in this speed edit right now And in the jigs and reels of it, eventually I came out with this final design and to try to display it for you, I put it on a very basic sheet as you could see on my Instagram post. Speaking of Instagram, if you like what I do here, of course, subscribe to this channel. 
it and like the video and comment on the post especially comment on the post of which jersey you like more you'll see the home jersey later on but also follow me on instagram i'll leave a link down in the description obviously at the sports creative and i post almost daily there yeah, it's pretty much daily at the moment but could end up slowing down and with quarantine being over and all but go check that out and follow me there subscribe here and we'll get on with the rest of the video so when i picked my pinstripe design it's not as simple as just putting the lines of color because you have to warp it into the shadows and suit the shape of the jersey it's the same warping tool as you saw before just to make it look a little more realistic and you think coming up with a pinstripe design is pretty simple to go on back and forth of how thick you want something how thick it is all done by eye it is so personal preference and I'd like to be able to see your jersey designs after this if you choose to make any. Put them on the hashtag TSC review. I look at that weekly. Take out the pinstripe designs. Like you could have something like this, or you could have something like the Liverpool kit at the moment. I went more along the lines of the Liverpool kit. I thought it was a bit more classy, a bit more in style, and this is kind of what I want to do. Eventually, after all my messing, masking, warping, the end result looks like this. That took me all of 30 to 40 minutes of work, but probably about an hour, hour and a bit of thinking after I'd known I already wanted a pinstripe design for the away kit and you already know the colors because that's from the client brief we mentioned in the first episode. And what was more frustrating is that even though you're spending your time doing this and you can see I recorded, we've sped through it and I've shown you clips and I've shown you the end result. Then I came up with the home jersey. It was literally as simple as anything else. I just went with the first thought that came to my head, a bubblegum, cotton candy sort of feel, real LA gelatini vibe, really fit the name and it worked. Now, I'm annoyed that it worked so quick. It probably took me all of 15, 20 minutes to get this one right, but it was a good thing. But I was probably thinking about this stuff while I was making the other one and thinking of the sort of branding that this club's gonna do. And then I created a post that I put on my Instagram of the two pictures, of the two jerseys being highlighted. Now, as you can see with the home jersey, the dip dye and luminous pink or neon pink, I'd more so say, and sort of cotton candy blue, whatever you want to call it. It ends up working really well and at least you know the colors match for the club that they picked. So they picked pretty nice colors for a jersey, but it's a pretty dodgy jersey to go around in white and pink. Imagine coming off a half time and your jersey still being spotless. You'll surely be taken out in the first 10 seconds of a game by a big number eight or something coming in at a rock and absolutely destroy you. But overall, this is a jersey that I'd actually love to get made. I'd, I'd wear either of these kits. That was part two of rebranding a rugby club and it's where I remade the jersey. Hopefully you enjoyed what I did. Hopefully it inspires you to do something similar. You can see that it can either take you up to an hour or it could take you 10 to 15 minutes. But there are so many different designs of jersey out there it's unlimited what you can do with a jersey and that's really the issue so that's where a client can come into play in this where they would give you guidelines of we want a pinstripe one we want this dip dye one we want a gradient we want these colors done and they limit it for you it's not always going to be just up to you unlike it was with me here. I pretend I have a brief, so I have to use these certain colors and use the Giltini's name as I explained in the first one. And it will continue on with the next episode of rebranding this rugby club, or it's not even rebranding, it's just branding because they're new. So you're really hoping on the client here to be able to give you constraints so you can do your best work and get it as imaginative as you can with certain designs. So hopefully I've been able to inspire you to be able to do something similar and show you that it is isn't actually that difficult to get into stuff like this. So hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck. As coming up, it was probably one, oh.